Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. All right, and honors to you brothers. All right, that's pushing this word throughout the four corners of the planet fervently on the highways and hedges. All right, Shalom to the elect. All right, and just real quick, right? How uh, I'm gonna go into what? How you know? Uh, you know, World War Three is uh, 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 fastly, fastly approaching. All right. Okay, you got these countries. All the countries what are gearing up? All right. All right. They, uh, 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 for uh, uh, World War Three. All right. I got a couple videos. I got uh, 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 queued up and I'm gonna play them. All right, just to further drive home the point, okay? Uh, uh, and, you know, and, and, and so show you Akim and you uh, you Akwaf, what that our redemption, all right, draw if not, all right? So here we go. Canada is dusting off, updating our country's emergency protocols when it comes to the possibility of a nuclear catastrophe. This is all about being prepared and ready in the case of an actual disaster like an exchange of nuclear weapons or the possible spread of radiation if there was ever an explosion at a nuclear power plant. So, the so he said, you know, they're, 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 you know, they're getting ready or uh, preparing for a nuclear exchange or radiation from a power plant. Well. We all know what, that's just a, a a buffer, if you will, all right, to keep you people, okay, you sheeple, all right, in a, a calm state, all right, they don't want to spook, they, they're going to tell you the truth, all right, but then they're going to put a little, uh, mix a little lie in there to keep you people calm, right, but the truth was that they're getting ready for what, a nuclear exchange, all right, let's go. The plan sets out a process for relocating key institutions, including, of course, the government, the Prime Minister's office, to alternate sites outside of Ottawa. Officials developing plans for a significant surge as well and requests for consular assistance in countries around the world. And also gathering potassium iodine pills as a precaution it does come amid ongoing worries about the safety of the Zaporizhia nuclear plant in Ukraine, which is on the front line of fighting between Russia and Ukraine. Joining me now is retired Major General David Fraser, CTV military analyst General Fraser. Always good to see you. Your thoughts on these emergency protocols being updated? Well, Todd, it's good to be with you. And I think this is a result of, you know, at the very beginning, when Putin said that he was going to put the nukes on the table, you can't ignore what Putin says and the fact that they're in Belarus right now. The government did a prudent measure of reviewing what are our, our nuclear protocols uh, in the case that the uh, nukes might be used, principally in Ukraine and where Canadians would be exposed to uh, in Europe. But it's Canada is dusting off. So there you go. All right, you there, you know there you have it. All right, Canada. All right, is dusting off. All right, they're 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 uh, you know. Uh, updating their nuclear uh, 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 readiness uh, 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 ability, if you will, all right? All right, and we all know that Canada really is, you know, that their Canada really is like a neutral country, all right, uh, that really, a lot of times, all right, you don't really hear too much from Canada, all right? They, 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 they pretty much, you know, uh, play the background, but to hear this, what is the indicator? What that? All right, we're in the we're in the time of war. All right, let's go. Chinese Defense Minister argued that recent joint U.S. and Canadian patrols in the region served as a provocation and warned that a fierce confrontation between the U.S. and China would lead to unbearable pain for the whole world. Chinese Defense Minister argued that recent joint U.S. and Canadian patrols in the region served as a provocation and warned that a fierce confrontation between the U.S. and China would lead to unbearable pain for the whole world. Chinese Defense Minister argued that recent joint U.S. So what? That's 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 what that unbearable pain. That unbearable pain is talking about World War uh, World War Three. All right. Let me get this.
This is Revelations 11 and 14. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Dad, what? Dad, you want to see me? Yeah, I'm busy right now. I'm doing a lesson. Okay. Okay? Dad, I'm busy. I'm a, we gonna go in a minute. Right? Do you wanna um? Do you wanna see me swing? I'm gonna see you swing. I'm watching from here. I'm doing my lesson. Okay. I right, go go and play. It's a lot here for that. I like I got my kid. Got my kids at the park. Pretty nice out. So I figure I get them out. Let them run around. Burn some energy. So it's a lot here. It says the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. So. We see what that what all these nations are gearing up for a nuclear Canadian war. Canadian patrols in the region. All right, uh, the, the, the first one was Canada, Canada. All right, and now this is talking about China. Okay. Served as a provocation and warned that a fierce confrontation. All right, this is my next video. Uh, I think this is it right here. This war is about to enter a dangerous phase. Russian nukes are now not just near Ukraine, but they are close to NATO's borders too. For the first time since the fall of the Soviet Union, Russia has deployed these bombs outside the country. It's a move that cannot be taken lightly. But today, it finally pulled the trigger. Russian nuclear weapons are going to Belarus. The transfer of nuclear weapons has begun. It has already begun. Yes, it has already begun. The weapons are already in Belarus? Maybe. I'll take a look when I go back. That was Alexander Lukashenko, the president of Belarus and a loyal ally of Vladimir Putin. Lukashenko has kept his promise. His country is now playing host to Russian nukes. The West has denounced these deployments. What made Putin resort to nuclear weapons? What is the Russian president's endgame? Let's deep dive. The war in Ukraine is in its 15th month, and both sides are battling for every inch of territory. A counter-offensive by Ukraine could begin soon, which some say has already started. But Russia is preparing. Moscow is responding with nuclear weapons. The plan was announced back in March. Belarus said today the warheads are on the move. Who are these weapons for? Ukraine. That's a no-brainer. But there could be more targets. Look at the map. Belarus shares a border with three NATO members, Poland, Lithuania, and Latvia. So these countries too can be potential targets. What kind of warheads are these? Tactical warheads. They're small in size and they're used for a limited strike. So they won't be able to destroy big cities, but they can obliterate small areas. That's their purpose. The nukes in Belarus will be controlled by Russia. So no change in ownership. But if a nuclear strike is ordered, Belarus could execute it on Russia's orders. They were given missiles that can carry these warheads. Some aircraft have been converted to Belarusian Sukhoi-25 will be able to carry nukes. The Sukhoi-25 is a Russian warplane. The Air Force of Belarus has them. In their fleet, Belarusian servicemen got some training too. So everything is in place. The question is, why now? The Russian defense minister has dropped some hints. He was in Minsk to finalize some specifics about this arrangement to store the nukes. Listen to his comments. The collective West is essentially waging an undeclared war against our countries. The West was doing all it could to prolong and escalate the armed conflict in Ukraine. Allow me to simplify that. Russia says the war in Ukraine has turned into a proxy battle and the West wants to extend the conflict by arming the Ukrainian forces. That's the allegation by Russia. So the nukes are deterrents, a way for Russia to take control and perhaps influence the outcome of this war. The US has called Russia's move irresponsible. I would say that we strongly condemn the arrangement. As we have made clear, the use of chemical, biological, or nuclear weapons in this conflict would be met with severe consequences. Washington has condemned the move. But what are they doing to stop Moscow? Will it change its own nuclear posture? Will America reinforce its own nuclear deterrence? The answer to that question is a no. For now, the U.S. has decided to do nothing. 
Uh, we have not seen any reason to adjust our own nuclear posture. You've heard us say that before, nor any indications uh, Russia is preparing to use nuclear weapons for Belarus. Uh, speaking uh, for, uh, to that particular uh, issue, this is yet another example uh, of uh, making irresponsible and provocative choices. So we remain committed to uh, collective defense of the NATO alliance, and I'll just leave it there. So the U.S. won't change its posture, but its ally, Japan, thinks differently. They are worried about Russia's nukes. Today, Tokyo announced fresh sanctions on Moscow. They condemned Russia's actions too. We are aware of the announcement by both Russia and Belarus. As the only country to have suffered atomic bombings during wartime, Japan never accepts Russia's nuclear menace, let alone its use. A nuclear menace? Japan is not mincing its words there. Expect this war of words to intensify. What about the actual war in Ukraine? Well, the fighting is escalating. Today, Russia targeted Kiev again. More missiles and drones were launched towards Ukraine's capital. Ukraine said it shot down 10 missiles and 25 drones. There were no casualties. Russia is making moves in Crimea too. This week, Russian officials seized an apartment there. Guess who it belonged to? Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. Reports say the property will be auctioned. But these small men, this war is about... So, as you can see, brothers and you few sisters, all right, is everything is up, all right? Let me get this. Um, I believe that's in Joel. Um, Joel... If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's in Joel, second chapter. Uh, no, that ain't it. It's a lock in. Uh, it might be the, the ninth. Uh, hold on, let me see. Up three, the third chapter, God. Joel three and nine proclaim ye, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty men, let all the all, all the men of war draw near, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's what we see here. All right, the Lord said what? Prepare war. All right? So the, 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 he's putting it in the minds, all right, of these 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 uh these leaders, what to 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 uh convert your 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 uh your your tools of agriculture into tools, all right, into weapons of war. It says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen. And gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahweh. And who's the mighty ones? All right, the mighty ones are the angels. It says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round and about. And with, with the valley of Jehoshaphat is uh, Yahweh Shapat. Out there, what in a uh, um, uh, um, damn, um, sh um, um, where does that, um, um, damn, how can I forget that? Um, uh, bring it to me, Lord. Um, um, uh, damn, I can't, it's, it's escaping me right now. Dang, how can I forget that? Um, but uh, yeah, but the Lord is what bringing, uh, bringing, going to bring all these, uh, which, which by the way, all right, Russia has, Russia has, uh, 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 uh America has sent a what a warship out there, all right, uh, 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 a destroyer out there to the the uh the Valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, the uh uh, uh Yahweh Shapat, the Lord's judgment, all right. He sent the uh, uh, America has sent the warship out there. So what? Uh, World War Three is uh, 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 on the 
on the move, man. It says, it says, it says, put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get ye down for the press is full. The fast overflow for their wickedness is great. So what? This place is about right, uh, ready to be harvested. All right. All right. Though. This world is about is about to be uh, harvest, uh, about ready to be harvested. All right. And Yahweh Shah is the the man that's going to come and do it. Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decisions. Right. So the day of the Lord is near upon the valley of decisions. Right. Uh, let me get this. Where is that? It's in... You see. All right, I'm going to start from uh matter of fact. Let me see. It does clean Salaki. Ecclesiastes. I don't even think it popped up on here. It ain't even pop no it didn't. Ecclesiastes. Nope. I'm going to start from the top uh, Three and one To everything there is a is a season A time to every purpose under the heaven A time to be born A time to die A time to plant And a time to pluck up that which is planted And that's what the Lord is about to do He's about to pluck uh, You Edomites up from your uh, rulership It say a time to kill And a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to run and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. All right. And we're clearly what in a time of war. All right. Let me go back. How to enter a dangerous phase. Uh. Right. My next my next uh, clip is this. Here we go. Just as I predicted. Now we're playing with the big stuff. The N-word, that is, the nuclear word, is now being used front and center all over the world. The situation was caused by us. It's what happens when you have incompetent people running your government. All I can say to you is, right now, drop down and pray. Here we go. Just as I predicted, now we're playing with the big stuff. The N-word, that is, the nuclear word. Uh, is now being used front and center all over the world. Right, so you heard what he said. What? 
that the, the N word, hey, 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 Trump, man, he he a character, right? But what he said, the N word, nuclear, nuclear, uh, 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 uh nuclear uh, talk, man, nuclear war talk. All right, World War Three talk is trending, man. All right, let me go to my next video. Right, right here. It says China shows off their troops and machines. They're not afraid of, of World War Three. So you see what World War Three is trending. All right, call all your about Shin Yahushua. The Lord is okay uh, 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 acting on our behalf. He's bringing it to pass. Let's go. Hey, what to say? Wake up the mighty men. That all the men of war draw near. Hey, we, we see it. I mean, we see it. Uh, where, this, what's my next video? All right. What I'm about to show you is arguably the biggest story in the world right now, in my opinion, but it's being totally ignored. So the United States just announced it's getting ready for a war with China and Putin at the same time for a very important reason. Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin are about to completely alter the international power structure and the monetary system. This is why they're getting ready for war. No other reason. The biggest story in the world happened this week in Moscow, and your mainstream media ignored it. This week, Xi Jinping and Vladimir Putin signed 14 different documents in their face-to-face -face meeting. The biggest had to do with trade and currency. It's perhaps the biggest story in the world right now, but again, the U.S. media was obsessed with something else. He could be days away from becoming the first former president to be indicted. Donald Trump is under multiple criminal inquiries. If he's about to be arrested, it almost certainly means he's going to be indicted. The media wants you distracted from the U.S. banking crisis and the decline of the U.S. dollar. Can you imagine? Probably the most important story in the world happened this week, and it almost got no attention. So let me know in the comments if your newscasts in your local markets covered the story. Probably not. All right, and and and, and like you said, the, uh, the American media. All right, they're not covering it. All right, for you to get the, this information, you have to go. You have to go to alternative alternative media, right? Because the the, the, the mainstream media is not covering what these things are. Right? They're not letting uh, letting you Americans know. All right, that what World War Three is upon us. All right, that that uh uh uh, uh that uh, uh you know the dollar is in, in is in the disarray. All right, that the, the the market is about to crash. All right, that you people are about to lose everything. Okay, that you've been working for for the last 20, 30 years. All right, they're not saying this, right? Hey, th this is why. Hey, man, this is why it's a beautiful thing for us that's in this truth. All right, because the Lord what has given us the the outside to see these things and the wisdom and knowledge to maneuver, uh, you know, in the times that's to come, right? Let me. What's my next? Uh, hit oh this. <laughs> so Russia is in America's backyard, and America is unhappy about that. Russia has pulled up a warship in Cuba, and America is furious. They're unhappy that Russia and Cuba are friends. Okay, taking into consideration that America is trying to make Ukraine part of NATO, which is in Russia's backyard. Russia said, listen, that's a red line, it's a no no. But NATO's like, what's the problem? We're a defensive alliance. We're a defensive alliance. We're not going to do anything. So here's Russia in Cuba, right? In America's backyard. And America's all upset. I wonder why. Hypocrisy much? Take a look at this video. Russian warship sails into Havana. Cuba greets the ship, the Perikop, the first Russian naval vessel to make an official visit in years with a cannon fire salute. 
is just the latest sign of the reforging of ties between Russia and Cuba. While much of the rest of the world has denounced Russia for their invasion of Ukraine, Cuban President Miguel Diaz-Canel, seen here alongside Vladimir Putin, inaugurating a statue of Fidel Castro in Moscow in November, defends Russia's war. We are condemning, we are rejecting the expansion of NATO towards Russia's borders. He told Russia today, we condemn all the measures and sanctions that have been applied as a way to coerce the Russian Federation. So there you go. You got you got you got uh, uh, Russia pulling up into America's backyard, which is Cuba. All right, with a navy warship. All right, what? Pretty much uh, surrounding this place, man. All right, what, what the scriptures say: All ye that bend the bow and camping around her, shoot at her, spare no arrows. Roughly paraphrasing. Well, hey, that's what's about to happen, right? Let's see. Uh, yep. Peace tonight into the new warning from North Korea to the U.S. after an American nuclear sub docked in South Korea. The North now saying this gives them the legal right to use nuclear weapons. Martha Raddatz with exclusive... Hey, look, North Korea, North Korea even getting in on the action. Right? Hey, this gives them the, 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 the legal right to use nuclear uh, weapons, man. All right, so we see what the Lord is. Hey, hey, the Lord is doing a beautiful work, man. Hey, and, and this, hey, 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 man, this is beautiful. All right, let's go. Reporting, she's on board that sub, the USS Kentucky. She also has new reporting on an American soldier who defected to North Korea, taken away in a North Korean van. It is this U.S. nuclear-armed ballistic missile submarine now docked in South Korea for the first time in 40 years that is prompting okay, North busy. Korea tonight to issue a dire warning, claiming they now have the legal right to launch their own nuclear weapons. We got an exclusive look at the USS Kentucky, the most destructive warship. Hey, and this is why the, the, the Lord said the angels are holding back. The, 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 the winds, the four angels hold, holding back the winds, all right, because these nations are itching to let these nukes go, man. If it don't be for Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh all right, and the angels working on the minds of these, 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 uh, these nations, they would have been, they would have been let the nukes fly, right? But due to spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh the Lord is selling the elect, all right? on the planet. The Navy will not say publicly that there are nuclear weapons on board this submarine, but make no mistake, I am standing on top of hundreds of nuclear warheads. This is our missile control center. The commander taking me inside the missile control center. So this is where nuclear missiles would be launched from. Yes. Recommend grabbing onto this handhold. Then showing us where at least 20 ballistic missiles are housed, each carrying up to a dozen nuclear warheads. A major Deterrent, says the U.S. in the wake of North Korea's nuclear saber rattling. Are you worried about the possibility it could backfire? I am very confident in our own nuclear deterrence. This, while well, tonight, Army counterintelligence investigating the circumstances of Army private. Right. So, at the end of the day, what we see, what that all these nations are gearing up, are right, are right, in the spirit. Of a uh, World War Three, do I got any more? I think this might be my last one right here. Front tonight, Putin surrounding Ukraine with nuclear weapons. The Russian president declaring today he now has nukes on standby in Belarus, which is where Putin launched his invasion of Ukraine from more than a year ago. <sighs> The first nuclear warheads have been delivered to the territory of Belarus, but just the first ones. This is the first batch. Front tonight, Putin surrounding Ukraine with nuclear weapons. The Russian president declaring today... Right, so hey, it's, everything is up and it's stuck, man. All right, let me get this. Uh... Um,
Romans 13, 11, and that knowing the time that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Yeah, our salvation is closer than what we believe. All right, let me get this. Right? Our salvation is much closer than what we know, brothers, and you few sisters. All right, we just got to, what, keep on, we just got to keep on pushing. This is Luke 21 and 28. It says, I'm going to start at, Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roar. And that's what we're seeing. Distress upon nations. All right, suns in the uh, signs in the skies and the, in the heavens. All right, blood moons. All right, uh, 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 chariots. Right? All these are signs. Men's heart fell in them. For fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the power of heaven shall be shaken. It says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in, the, in a cloud with power and great glory. Who's that Who's that Son of Man? Yahweh Shah. And when these things begin to come to pass, this is the point. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head for your redemption draweth nigh. All right, so, hey. I'm going to end it there through the spirit. My kids, right, they, they ready to go. All right. Uh, hey, man, we, we close, man. Hey, so with that, I'm going to leave it there. Shalom.